Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It is Sunday, so it is time to do my update for my hashtag 365 days of samples. I will go through the samples that I have finished this week and tell you whether they are going to be a repurchase or a miss for me. Um, and then I will show you what I'm still working on and then obviously we will pick seven new samples for next week. So first of all, the samples that I have finished this week, they are so this was from Green People and this was the Hydrating Firming Serum. This was okay, it wasn't anything to write home about that I'm not really interested in looking into that further. Next up, Garnier Ultra Lift Complete Beauty. Again, this is okay, not too fussed about looking into further really. Um, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation. I have the other version of this somewhere. I think I've even got full size, but I haven't touched it. Um, this was, it was nice. Um, it wasn't amazing, but obviously I've got a full size somewhere that I will dig out and have a try with. I don't think it's this shade though. Um, then we have the Britney Spears Fantasy Perfume. I think this is the Naughty Remix. Um, okay, I wouldn't run out and buy that, but it's not a horrible fragrance. And then we have, sure, I talked about this, Victor and Rolf. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Victor and Rolf Flower. I definitely talked about that. I remember talking about that now. <laughs> um, yeah, that is a, I want to repurchase that one anyway, just for, um, next we have from number seven and this is the beautiful skin face um, radiance exfoliator I've enjoyed using this I usually exfoliators are quite harsh on my skin and they tend to cause me problems and stuff but I enjoyed so I'm going to put this on my list for consideration when I need to purchase an exfoliator at the moment though I don't because I've got a backlog of stuff that where I've been hoarding and accumulating stuff and I've, um, so yeah I don't need to just yet but that is a, I would like to look into further and then we have the oranges out of trouble face mask love this want to just I have to discuss that as well I think I'm getting my samples mixed up <laughs> um on to the ones that I haven't finished so benefit their real mascara still working on that I have that on today this um, it's supposed to be a holy grail mascara for a lot of people. Um, I'm. It's a nice mascara. I haven't had any problem removing it, but I don't know. It's not. It's certainly not my holy grail. Um, the Benefit um, Roller Lash. I definitely prefer over this. I just feel it gives the lash a better shape. This, yeah, it's okay. Um, still working on the um, Thin from Urban Decay. I've got a tiny bit left of that, although as we know with Thin Primer Potion, it lasts forever. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's still going with that. I'm not too fussed that I'm still working on it. Then I've got Killer Queen by Katy Perry. Just a couple of days worth of that. Um... Nice perfume, not for me though. I think my do my daughter has this and she really enjoys it. Um, but it's not one for me. I do feel it's a younger fragrance. Um, then the Smashbox lip gloss, still working on that. I have been wearing this most days. Um, yeah, it's a nice lip gloss. I'm happy to be working on that still. And lastly, I'm working on the Luminous Shimmer Eyeshadow in Chai from Alumi Pure. I'm not going to open this because it's getting really, really messy because it's like a loose shimmer. Um, I'm making good progress on this. I'm not necessarily using it every day just because I'm getting a little bit tired of it. And focused on this means I'm not focusing on my palette from my Pan Mac palette. So, um, I'm not in too much of a hurry to finish this. By pulling it, I am working on it. So, that is where I'm at so far. I will then go, my little helper, and go ahead and we will pull some samples for next week. Hi, so 
so my little help is here it's time to pick next week's samples it's going to go ahead and pick seven i've moved it into a bag to make it easier to have a rifle around and get different things so are you going to pop your hand in and pick out seven for me How many is that? Seven. Is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one more. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? One more. No. We look like we've got a load of luxury samples or sort of birch box type items this week. So let's move them down out of the way. So first up, this is Palmer's and this is the Co Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E. It's a little luxury sample size, um, that'll probably last me all week. Then we have a travel size of the Carez Citrus Shower Gel, that one. Um, a little sample, well luxury sample size of the Benefit Air Patrol. And then we have a sample of, who's that by? This is a perfume sample, it just says day on it. Um, it's notes of bergamot, apple and jasmine. So whether, oh, it's from the White Company. So that is that one. And a Truth To Go wipes. Um, this is 10 wipes. A Element Spa Therapy Collagen Anti-Aging and Lifting Face and Neck Mask. That's one use. And lastly, a new Vitel Day Cream. That's just a little luxury sample, sort of travel size, 15 mil size. So, some interesting products to begin on with this week. My little help has run off already. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching and um, catch up with you later. Bye.